Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be about running a faster processor card on my 8088 motherboard project. So I get quite a bit of emails about running uh, 16 megahertz, 20 megahertz, you know, 188s, uh, V40s, and that on uh, this project. So that's why I'm going to explain this today. So we have here, this is the V40 card that I usually run at 10 megahertz, so it has a 20 megahertz crystal. But if you look at it, you can see that it's a dash 20, which means it's good for 20 megahertz. And I've put in a 40 megahertz crystal today. So the barrier here that I'm finding is the uh, hardware itself, like your memory and your IOs, are limited in their uh, speed. So once you get above, it seems like around 10 megahertz, you kind of outrun your memory or outrun your IOs on your read and write cycles. Well, luckily on the V40, you have a wait cycle generator built into the uh, processor itself. And when it first turns on, it actually maximizes, inserts all the wait cycles. So there's three of them that you can go up to. And it breaks it down into four sections. You got upper memory, lower memory, and middle memory. And then you have uh, your IOs, or all, so you can divide them all individually for your wait cycles. So by maxing out the wait cycles, I'm able to boot on my motherboard project. So bringing up that point, if you wanted to do that with a 8088, which I don't think they ever made more than a 20 megahertz 8088, but they do make a 16 megahertz V40, or sorry, V20. Now, I haven't even tried to run the 16 megahertz V20, but I have tried to run a V40 with no wait cycles at about 12 megahertz, and it doesn't seem to work. So, to get a V20 up to 16 megahertz, I'm thinking you may have to put in a hardware, because there's no internal a hardware wait cycle generator onto the card when it reads and writes to memory or an I.O. So that's kind of the gist of it is you just you've got to have those wait cycles for it to function. So I'm gonna just take it over here we'll uh, plug it into the system and show it running. Now I have fought it for quite a while about an hour or so and I cannot get the timing and I've never been able to get the timing right for the uh, USB host to uh, load. So I just completely just skipped that part of the project and I just have it boot up to the kind of the BIOS screen here on my BIOS. I don't even know if it's going to come into focus here. But anyway, the point is, is it's booted up and initialized the video card and it's just idling waiting for a keystroke. So, I can put in keystrokes, let's see, just like that. You can see it's putting some keys on the screen. It's kind of blurry, plus the, uh, the CGA is blurry to begin with. But it'll sit here and run all day and not crash. And this is at 20 megahertz. So, the shortcoming right now is just uh, bridging the gap to get the timing correct and see if you can load the uh, USB host, and then we can boot DOS on this uh, PC with the 20 megahertz card. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, as always, leave a comment or email me and we'll discuss it. So, thanks for checking out the video today.